there, how you doing? My name is Andrea and I am a Scentsy addict. <laughs> I'm gonna give you another five reviews. Technically I'm gonna give you six reviews, but five from the Bring Back My Bar that was released in January, on January 1st of 2018. These bars are only available now for another four, 13 days, 14 days, two weeks. Uh, so if you want any of these, you gotta jump on the bandwagon because February 1st, you ain't gonna get them. Usually my English is a little bit better than that. I am warming Aussie Plum right now. I've got it in four warmers in four corners of this room. I like this a lot more than I thought I was going to. This is described as melange of juicy plum, pink grapefruit, and tart pomegranate with smooth vanilla. I think that this could use just a touch more vanilla because it is very tart but it's not overly fruity and I like that. The grapefruit and the pomegranate is a nice balance in there. Plum can sometimes smell a bit bitter. I think bitter is the word, but I'm not sure. I'm, I'm feeling like it's bitter. So between bitter and tart and vanilla, this is very nice. Again, I think I could use just a tad more vanilla, but that's okay. In the summer, this is gonna be great. Beach. I read the description, didn't think I was gonna like it, smelled it out of the clamshell, thought I was gonna love it, warmed it. Mm, it's okay. I'm gonna be saving these four cubes for the summertime. It might just be that it's the wrong time of year for this. It smells very tropical fruity, sort of like suntan lotion. I thought it was gonna smell a bit fresher. Mixing it with stuff might be nice, but it might just be wasting the wax if I'm not really enjoying it. So I'm just gonna hold on to it until the summertime. I feel like I'm gonna be giving you like not so great reviews Back to back. Flower shop. I like the way this smells in the clamshell. I warmed this in my bathroom and it just, mmm. It's a fresh scent, but it doesn't make the air feel fresh. It actually is a little bit heavy. And it's not that it's too strong. It's just that it's so specific. It almost smells like, not the fertilizer, but the chemicals that they would use to, you know, lengthen the, lifespan of the cut flowers because it's called flower shop right so it really does smell like that i'm gonna have to wait for the summer again i'm gonna be holding on to this one for the summertime because i think it's just not the right time of year to be warming this mulberry bush is empty mulberry bush is fabulous mulberry bush is described by sensi as sweet mulberry accented with bittersweet orange peels we blew through this whole bar and i've already i've already started working on another one uh it's just I don't know what mulberry smells like. I can smell the orange peel just a little bit. And then it's got this berry note. It's like, um, it's almost like raspberry and orange. If you can understand what raspberry smells like, this almost smells like raspberry. This is very nice. This has the teeny tiniest hint of a green note in it because it has the word bush in there. <laughs> a little bit of a shrub smell, scent, but it's very nice, almost floral. Nice. This is the one that's gonna sort of be combined with something that's not a bring back my bar. Simply Rose. Finally warmed it last night for the first time. It's very rose. It's very strong. It's very sharp because this is a rose. This smells straight up like a super duper fragrant rose as if your face is right in the flower. I was nervous about warming this. That's why it took me, what, two weeks to go to, to warm it. But I decided to mix it with sugar and it's still rocking in my bedroom. I took a picture of it on Instagram. I put a third of a cube of sugar because you gotta cut these cubes up. I mean, these cubes are for the brick. These cubes are enormous. I put a third of a cube in each warmer. I have two warmers in my bedroom. Third of a cube and then one full cube. And by the way, both waxes are gorgeous together. Even just sitting here with the, with the clamshells open, this smells so good. Sugar is described by Scentsy as lemonade and cotton candy. I don't smell the lemon in it. I, it's cotton candy, straight up cotton candy scent. This is nice, but with this, oh, it's just fabulous. So the sharpness of the rose is, is rounded out with the sugar and the heaviness of this, because this is a super heavy scent. This is straight up cotton candy smell and it's heavy. So the heaviness of this is lightened up by the rose. Oh, it is, it is one of my favorite combinations. 
this is still available. It's one of the reasons why I'm talking to you about it. It's only going to be available for a little while longer because, you know, we're having a transition month coming up. They're taking the old stuff out and putting the new stuff in soon. This is 24 bucks and it's a shit ton of wax. <laughs> it's 17 fluid ounces of wax. It's as large as my head. This was sold as a bundle with a scent called Shimmer and that one sold out like within a week or something like that. I'm actually hoarding my Shimmer Brick. I warmed it twice, I think. And I've only gone through like one or two of the cubes and now I'm just gonna hold on to it because it's such a good scent. It's so fabulous, but you can't get it anymore. Sorry. Anyway, so try mixing sugar with Simply Rose and you'll probably die happy. There's another five of the Bring Back My Bar reviews for you. My name is Andrea. If you need anything, just hit me up. All of my information is below. I'm hoping to get back to you in the next day or two with another five reviews because again, the Bring Back My Bar is going to be gone. Today is the 17th or 18th? I don't remember. I think it's the 17th of January. So you've only got about 14 days to order and then it's gone. Don't call me on February 1st. Well, you can. I'll try to convince you to buy something else. <laughs> but on February 1st, it's not gonna be there. I will list all of the scents below, okay?